Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can automatically color up a row depending on, in this case, what section a person is in. So on the screen, I've got section one, two, one, two, three, and four. So I want to use conditional formatting to color up those people. And I'm going to do it by highlighting this entire table conditional formatting manage rule and the option I'm going to use is the formula option so a new rule and then use a formula to determine what I want so I'm clicking into this bar and then I'm clicking on the first cell a2 in this case now I need to take off that dollar sign so this will apply to all the rows so if a2 equals 1 I want that to go green, so format green, light green. Okay to that one, okay again. New rule, formula option. Again, I'm clicking on the same one, taking the dollar sign off. So if it equals two, equals two, I want that to format to amber. Okay, okay. New rule, formula cell. If it equals to, take the dollar sign off, if it equals to three, I will format it blue, light blue format, or whatever color that is. Okay, okay, and last one, if it's four, let's see what we can do with this one. Formula, click on the cell, take the dollar sign off, equals to four. And we'll pick a different colour for fours. Section four, we'll pick that colour, pinkish. OK, OK to that. Those are the four colours. Those are the four types of section. Click in OK, and then it automatically colours it up. And if I change any of these to one of the other colours, like three, that's coloured that one up. As soon as you change the section, it will change the colour because it's looking at that particular number and then it's giving it that color. So that's basically how you can color up dependent on a trigger figure in this case. Now another option you can do is, I'm just gonna highlight this and get rid of the conditions. Just delete them off. Just delete all of these off. So what I want to do now is use conditional formatting to look at the word complete and color it in green and processing amber and incomplete red so it's back to conditional formatting manage rules new rule formula option clicking into there the clicking on this cell getting rid of the dollar sign so it's the same as before this time it's just going to equal complete if it equals complete and i have to put that in quotes if that's true i want that to format green Light green, OK, OK, and just apply that. So that worked. And then new rule, formula option. If that cell, take off the dollar sign, equals processing, in quotes. That needs to go in quotes. If that's true, I want that to be amber. OK to that. OK again. Apply that once, have a look. Yeah, that works. So the rest need to be red, showing red. New rule, formula. S still picking the top one because these could change. Taking the dollar sign off so it doesn't stick on the top line. Equals incomplete. In quotes, keep missing out the first quote. Put that back on. And this will be format red. Format red. OK, OK, and OK. So they're all showing that. So if I pull that one down, that should stay green. If I pull some of these processing ones down, that should go amber. If I copy that word there and push it down here, that should go green. And it does. So that's just how you can use conditional formatting to highlight an entire row of information based on 
either the first bit was a number, a section number, and then this bit is a word such as complete, not complete, processing, etc. So hopefully that video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.